my camping season is over and I had to find find another hobby. Tjena, I'm Ladrig Niedebach and welcome to the channel. For the past six months I've been focusing on landscape and traveling but now when the winter is here it's it's getting tougher and tougher because the winter here is difficult. It's definitely possible to create something and we're also trying to sell our tent for the next summer so we can upgrade to something more professional that suits our our needs a little bit more. The one we've been having now, it's a very simple one. It's very easy to use. But right now I need to find a new hobby. And lucky for me, I got asked to shoot a hockey practice. So, sport photography is something that I don't do often, but it's something that's very challenging because you only have one one chance to capture a certain moment. Because hockey is a very fast sport, you need to move with the play and kind of know when things can happen before they happen. And every time I've shot hockey, I learned something new from it, like how to focus, what shutter speed to use, what f-stop, and the best ISO settings for the best light without losing quality of the image. When it comes to setting, it all comes down to what camera you're using. I'm using a Lumix G9 and the ISO settings on that one, there's definitely cameras out there that are doing a better job. As soon as I go above 1600, I start to lose a little bit of quality and it starts to get a little bit noisy. And this time I had to crank it up to 3200 because the practice was outdoor with bad lighting and the sun was already gone. It was in the middle of the day, but the sun here just disappears. A couple of months now where the sun is pretty much up, just a few hours. So the light wasn't the best, so I had to crank up the ISO to 3200, but I had to do it so I could keep the shutter speed at a thousand of a second, so the photo would stay crispy. And when it comes to aperture, I usually go with the lowest the lens has to offer. It will make it a little bit harder to get the photos in focus, but in this case, shutter speed feels more important because it's a fast game out there. And if you want to capture the moment like right away and, and keep the photos crispy, you have to really make the shutter. And speaking of focus, I usually go with the tracking. There's a few other options you can use. For me, it feels like tracking is the best one. I don't know what that's called on other camera brands, but tracking on Lumix gets the job done. This is nothing I do often, but it interests me because I've been playing hockey my whole life. To see the game from another perspective is it's fun. And the people you meet are often there because they have the same interests as you, their passion for sport, and they share the love for photography. And it can give you an extra income if you create a name for yourself in the industry. So if you like sport and you love photography, it's your thing. It, it will be challenging from the beginning if you get to know people that are in the business, they will help you. There are always nice people around uh, that are give you tips and tricks on how to improve your, your sport photography. You will notice that you get better for every game you, you dare and every game you shoot, you will get a little bit better and you will find another way to capture better images. I hope this video helps you and you can take something from it. Hopefully I can find new adventures soon so I can keep myself occupied during this winter and create new videos that hopefully sparks your interest in the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you in the next video.